This is Oscar's red carpet 2008. The 2008 Academy Awards were a definite return to glamour. By now, the fashions and the fashionistas who wore them have been dished and dished and dished. But some of the highlights and lowlights bear another look. One shoulder gowns were a plenty, what with Hilary Swank, Anne Hathaway and Amy Adams showing us the best of the best. One of the most interesting arm treatments was worn by Helen Mirren, who, coupled with her walk, still resembled a queen. Marion Cotillard wore an interesting gown of scales, and Penelope Cruz, always the epitome of glamour and style, chose a black strapless gown with feathery fringe adorning her neckline. There is no question that Jennifer Garner set the bar for the evening's festivities, not only by presenting the first Oscar, but also wearing one of the most spectacular diamond necklaces of the evening by Van Cleef and Arpel. Paired with her dynamic Oscar de la Renta gown and wearing stacking diamond bracelets, she was smashing. And while Carrie Russell wore a more modern, multi-strand gold necklace with her Nina Ricci gown, I personally felt that Nicole Kidman stole the show. Her diamond necklace, weighing in at a whopping 1,400 carats, wrapped around her neck three times and had a draped diamond lavalier cascading down her back. The effect was breathtaking and was only rivaled by her pregnancy glow. Which brings up the wonderful baby bumps we saw. Kate Blanchett wearing regal purple, Jessica Alba in a deep burgundy, and of course, Nicole Kidman in classic black. Red became the it color of the evening, and why not? After all, it is called walking the red carpet, isn't it? The list of red beauties were endless. Heidi, Catherine, Miley, Julie, Anne, Ruby, and Helen, to name a few. Ellen Page, Jennifer Garner, Penelope Cruz, and Laura Linney chose the ever-classic black strapless gown. Now, some of the lowlights of the evening were displayed by the most unusual style of Diablo Cody, who wore an animal print chiffon dress which had no rhyme or reason. Thank goodness her great talent overshadowed her misplaced sense of style. Tilda Swinton also made an attempt to be stylish but didn't quite make it. Her one sleeve dress looked like the designer didn't have enough time to finish it and coupled with her lack of makeup, it just didn't work. However, her sparkling personality made you listen to her rather than to watch her. Renee Zellweger, a most beautiful lady, didn't seem to be at her best either. While her short, sassy haircut was adorable, it didn't work with the glorious gown she wore. The lack of jewelry was puzzling, although she did wear some bracelets. She may want to consider a new stylist. I'm available, Renee. Jennifer Hudson wore an ampere dress in the hopes that we would notice her weight loss. But in that vast sea of white and with that style of gown, it was difficult. For the most part, the men were gorgeous and dashing. Who would not want to follow Javier Bardem and George Clooney home? And the ever handsome John Travolta, though sporting a rather strange haircut, was still gorgeous. Long ties greatly outnumbered bow ties, and one of the interesting presentations of the evening were made by Josh Brolin and James McAvoy. Looking like identical twins themselves in their matching tuxes and ties, they presented the Oscar to two brothers, who, except for their ties, look just like their presenters. However, all in all, the evening was magical and the eye candy the best that we have seen for a long time. The Academy celebrated its 80th year and did so with great style.